greet Philogius, Julia, Nereus, and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. Welcome to Daily Devotions at Cram and Kirk on Saturday the 15th of August 2020. Inspirational saints have been the theme of our devotions this week. Let us pray. You fearful saints, fresh courage take. The clouds you so much dread are big with mercy and shall break in blessings on your head. Amen. This particular New Testament saint is clever. He writes in particularly good Greek, which means he is highly educated. He writes a whole gospel and then a history of the early church, which we call the Acts of the Apostles. His name is Luke. He dedicates his work to Theophilus, probably a new convert. This is the beginning of his gospel. Since many of you have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed on to us by those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and servants of the word, I too decided, after investigating everything carefully from the very first, to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the truth concerning the things about which you have been instructed. Thanks be to God. All these centuries later, we still rely on the work of the four gospel writers to gain insights into the life and ministry of Jesus of Nazareth. They gave us a tremendous gift and we often return to their decisions about what they included and excluded as we seek sound and fair interpretations of Scripture. Luke tells us more about healing, more about women, more about the resurrection than any of the other Gospel writers. I think the world would be weaker if we didn't have two of the stories which only he shares, the prodigal son and the good Samaritan. Thinking about Luke as a saint and as a gospel writer brings to mind a question. How much do I believe because other people do? And how much have I really thought things through for myself? I'll let you ponder that as we pray together. Great and loving God, As we join in these daily devotions, we thank you that we never do so alone, but in company with all your people. We give thanks today for the Bible and for the Gospel writers, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Open our hearts and minds to the saints, past and present, who have shown courage in difficult situations. Their writing has strength, strengthened millions across centuries. Loving God, we pray for those who have been hurt today following the train crash at Stonehaven or the ferocious lightning storm over Edinburgh this past week. Hold in your healing presence all those who are bereaved or ill in body, mind and spirit. Draw close to anyone afflicted by doubt. In all the temptations and duties of this day, be our companion through Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose name we pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And we close with the blessing. 
May the peace of God, which passes human understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And may the blessing of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon us and all those we love from this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>